Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to automate drivers in DSM. DSM has a wizard called the driver installation wizard that allows you to capture drivers either from a driver package that you got from the vendor, but even easier is you can actually log into a machine that already has the driver installed and properly working and just pull the driver off that machine without you even having to know of how drivers work, where they embed themselves in the system or anything like it. You can do that for a single driver, but you can also do that for a set of drivers all at the same time. So if you get a new model of hardware delivered to the company and you need to automate all of the drivers for that particular model, you would just uh, use that multiple driver package um, based on local installed devices and it will pull all of the drivers off and make them part of your repository. Uh, in this scenario, I'll just go with the single driver from locally installed devices. Um, how does that work? Again, consider our from admins for admins. So we present you with a very easy view, looks like the device manager. You can select the device that you want to capture the driver into a package and just pick like this network adapter for instance, hit OK, hit next. It actually now read the device and vendor ID, meaning the hardware identifier so that when we deploy the driver, we make sure it only applies to machines that have that exact hardware installed locally. Um, it also tells me what hardware is supported by that particular driver, what models of that particular hardware. And then I hit next and now it actually pulled all of this into my uh, repository and when I go back over here to objects you see this is the driver, it knows what hardware it is supported and I can associate that if I wanted to with every single machine within my uh, on my network and every machine that has that hardware in it will then update the driver automatically. At the same time it will now use that driver for operating system deployments and automatically inject that missing driver in the operating system uh, boot up sequence so that you don't have to worry about your uh, boot environments and such, this driver will dynamically be loaded where needed.